Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we will learn how can we uh, insert uh, Urdu or Arabic text into our database uh, using C Sharp. So I have created this form in which I have this uh, two fields, Nam and uh, Warid Kanam which means name and father name and we have this save button and uh, with this save button we will uh, save it into the database so I'll double click on this save day button to create its click event so this is uh, its click event we will write code here but first let me show you uh, the database so if I come here this is our uh, this test table is our table in which we uh, are going to insert these two values so if I show you the design so we have this uh, name uh, in work or 50 and uh, uh, father name in work or 50 now per Urdu or uh, uh, Arabic text you need to uh, make this uh, in work or not work or but in work or because in work or can hold more uh, values or more data uh, it is uh, larger in size than work or so we will use in work or now we have to insert value into this uh, table so we will quickly go here and uh, go to the script as and uh, insert uh, insert query so it will automatically generate insert query for us so insert into this one and i'll copy it up to here Control c it and uh, later we will copy this later on first we will come here and get the connection string so I'll uh, change my keyboard to English English and now we will use string and uh, con uh, string equals and here we will use um, data source equals and it is the name of our uh, this server so I'll disconnect it and connect it again so if I click on this so it will show us this server name so I'll copy this and uh, I'll come here and I uh, control V it here now put semicolon after it now then it takes the initial uh, catalog so I'll use initial initial catalog which is our uh, database so if we go here our database is um, if I expand this this test DB so we'll go to into this test DB so I'll come here and uh, I'll use initial catalog test DB and then it takes the integrated security so integrated uh, after this we have a semicolon and then it takes the integrated security so integrated security equals uh, true because we are not using username and password that is why we are using this true and if we were using username and password we have made this uh, false and then after that we will uh, provide username and password now uh, our connection string is created so now we will create our connection so here I can use uh, using is cable or we will use without using is cable connection this one con equals new is cable connection and it takes this uh, connection string into its constructor so I'll pass in here con string that we created this one and now after this we will create the scale command so scale command this one cmd equals new scale command so now it takes two things number one it takes the um, scale or the query so here we will create uh, string query equals now I'll use double quotes and now as I have uh, told you we have created the insert query here so I'll copy it 
and now we'll go here and we will paste it here now I'll remove this and this as well now I'll make this adjust this I'll make a space here and uh, I'll remove this space as well and remove this as well and this as well now we have to provide the values here here now I'll remove these values from here up to here now I'll remove this and I'll put semicolon here and now we will provide the values inside here now to provide the values we will put single quote single quote and then inside this we will use double quote double quote and then uh, plus plus and inside this we will use text box one dot text and then we will put a comma here at the end then we will use this similar single quote single quote then uh, double quote double quote and then plus plus and then we will use text box uh, two dot text and now our, our query is complete now it is showing an error somewhere so it is showing the error here why it is showing error here button click event okay it needs uh, a semicolon here so we will use here uh, query comma and then con now we have to execute this so cmd dot execute uh, non query and now I'll put semicolon in here now our code is complete so let's run and let's check it if it is working so I'll run this now the application is running so I'll change my keyboard to Urdu so I'll use Urdu and now I'll put some random text here and some random Urdu text here and now if I'll try to save this save now it has uh, thrown us an ex uh, exception require an open connection so we haven't opened our connection that is why it is showing this error so we will open our connection after uh, we create this command here we will open our connection con control z enter and now I'll again change to English my keyboard so here we will use con dot um, open and now I'll put semicolon here now we will run it again I'll come here and uh, I'll change my keyboard to Urdu now the application is running again so if I enter some text and some text here and now if I save this let's see nothing happens now we will go to our uh, database and to our test uh, DB and to tables and now here we will select top 1000 rows from this uh, table now you can see that it has uh, put the text as question marks in these fields now we will fix them now to fix this we will go to our code I'll come here to this value and here before this uh, single quote I'll uh, put a capital N so to put capital N I have to change my uh, keyboard to English now if I put a capital N here and report this one as well a capital N here now if I stop and rerun this and now if I run this and now if I enter some Urdu words here 
and now if I save this and now if I come here to the database and now if I execute it again now you can see that the text is entering as we have entered here and the uh, application now for uh, now we will try this with the Arabic uh, uh, text as well so for that I will go to my browser so I have converted the hello into Arabic and I will copy this uh, copy see this now I'll go to application and now I'll remove this and I will control V it here now I'll uh, get another word so now I'll copy this how are you Kaipaholic and copy this and now I'll go here and I'll paste it here and now we will save this now if I go here and now if I execute this again now you can see Ahla and Kaipaholic is also inserted into our database so in this way we can insert Arabic or Urdu text into our database uh, in C sharp so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you